it kind of smells like gasoline. Like, like only like very slightly, just like the tiniest hint of gasoline. It's like you walk into a garage and this is what you smell for like, for like only for like like a split second you know it's like my nose doesn't even know what it's trying to smell it's like it feels like i'm about to smell gasoline but then it immediately turns to like ah nah never mind you know it's like it's like my nose is getting jubated <laughs> you know what don't mind me Maybe I should find a different shirt. But like, uh, I mean, I could put on the white t-shirt, but like that one's like way over fucking there or somewhere. It's like I would have to like get up from my chair. Eh, fuck that. It is easier. It's not like it. I mean, the thing is, does anyone actually dislike the smell of gasoline? I feel like gasoline actually smells good. Like any time I walk into a garage, that shit just like smells nice. I mean, I feel like it shouldn't, to be honest. Like when you think about it, but like, who am I to say no to my nose? If my nose tells me it's good, it's good. Right? By the way, I was looking at like, uh, what is it? Wowhead? Reddit? I think it was on Reddit. It seems I'm not the only one who thinks that it's weird. That a seasonal consumable is not in the consumable tab. <laughs> it's like, it seems more than just me. Like, there are more people than just me who are weirded out by that. But like, eh. I guess what what do you do, you know? I've been doing like some of some blood harvests off stream. I already got 140 blood lures. I'm only doing like boring well not really boring, but like I'm only doing repetitive content while I'm off stream, just so we're clear. I haven't like progressed the quest line or anything like that. To be honest, like the quest line could be like more boring than the actual content. Depends on what you like. I'm low on but yeah, at least it's not repetitive. I hope. Anyway, what's this? I didn't get a level. Ah, shit. Hold up, I need to like figure out which one it is. Um, inspiring leader. Whoa. Somehow I managed to hover over it. Which is like the first thing that I look at. After you've been healthy, you and your minions gain attack speed. That sounds awful, to be honest. Wait. Yeah, like, th does that only work while you're healthy? I feel like that's trash. Why would you want that? Look at that. That's, that was an actual person. I guess I'll be seeing less and less of those as the season goes on. I mean, last season, when I was like at the very end of it. No, don't, don't use it. Jesus Christ. When I was like at the very end of the season. Like season one. There, there was just like nobody a anywhere. Like, hardcore was just like completely dead. Like, the only time you would ever see a human being whether you can even consider them human beings at that point because I mean let's be honest they were playing season one I don't think you can be human to do that but the only time I could see anyone would be during a world boss and even then it was kind of like eh, maybe not maybe not you know nowadays I feel like they're everywhere they're like your rats and rats make me crazy they're fucking all around me I need to remember to open my window before I start the stream. Just for like a few 
minutes. What is this? Kill Bloodseekers, okay. Wait, kill more Bloodseekers? How many damn Bloodseekers do I need to kill? Also, like, what am I doing? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah, I know what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, I was just thinking about the fact that I'm gonna have to, like, go turn in my Whispers, like, pretty much immediately as soon as I do something. Because it... I think I'm only missing two points. I don't like that. I don't like how you have to turn your Whispers in. Like immediately like you can't do another whisper while your whisper bar is full i think that's weird like you should be able to stack them however much you want and like okay like if not however much you want then at least they should allow you to do it like you know like stack three of them at the same time instead of just like one maybe they could even do something like where you get better rewards the more you stack it that would be cool. But it doesn't really matter. I mean, eventually I'm gonna switch to doing Nightmare Dungeons only. And like, at that point, it's like, it's not gonna matter what the fuck the Whispers do, right? At least I think I will. I mean, who knows? Wait, am I gonna get the save villagers point? Because I didn't click on him. I mean, I did for like a second, but he actually activated it. Yeah, it did give me. Nice. Swear to God, there was a boss. <laughs> yeah, there. What are you doing? Why, why is he on the map? That's my question. I lack the required essence. Man, I thought this guy was about to like jump into the fucking blood pools or whatever whatever the hell that is I guess it's not really blood is it oh am I gonna get a point it did give me hunters a claim wait maybe that wasn't a villager I mean I was just laying someone to rest all right Bless you. just one more Hopefully I do it before I complete some random ass whisper. Like, I was doing some blood harvests today, and this fucking save villagers quest, I don't know if it bugged out, but while I was doing it in Skullsglen, there were like, no villagers, like anywhere. Like, they're supposed to show up on your map, so like, I would see them if they were there. But like, I was fucking running through the zone, and I was at 4 out of 5, I swear to I spent like 10 minutes there. I mean, it didn't really matter because I was doing like other whispers. But still, a little weird. I don't know if... Hmm, hold up, what's this? Those are pants. For a second I thought it was a shield. Hmm. That I means good enough. Light keep you. Anyway, I was doing something. I was about to say something, then I got sidetracked by the shield looking pants, and I don't know what I was gonna say anymore. And it doesn't matter. Alright, amulet. I haven't gotten a legendary amulet in a while. Shit. I guess I'm not getting one. Even now. I feel like the levels are going like pretty fast now. Maybe that's just because I'm low level. Yeah, I think that might be it. I wonder what it, what endgame is actually gonna look like. Like, so far I haven't heard anyone talk about endgame. Like, at all. Probably because like nobody's there yet. Nah, I feel like people who are racing, they should already be level 100, right? Surely. I mean, I think they are. At least someone has to be level 100 at this point. Like, I wonder what the balance is like at endgame. And by that, I mean just like, um, the fucking resistances and whatever. I need more essence. I just want to see like 
if this season is actually gonna be easier or harder. That, that's the only thing I care about. Because, like, I am playing in hardcore. And I just remembered I don't have a fucking cheat the death potion on. <laughs> oh no. Do I even have one? I can barely craft any. Like, I don't, I'm not getting any crafting materials. I don't even know where I get them usually. Like, I had so many last season. Maybe just like doing nightmare dungeons gives you materials? I mean, that could be it. I need more time. Also, why are they focusing my skeletons? I mean, I think that's good, to be honest. But like, it's a little weird when the enemies just like walk around me just so they can go like straight to the skeletons and fight them. I don't know why that's a thing. But it's not bad for me. I mean, at least I'm not taking the damage. I wonder what, how long it's gonna take me this time to reach level 100. I mean, I'm pretty sure they didn't actually like increase the XP gain while you're low level. You know? I'm pretty sure it only is like semi faster when you get to like level 70 and whatever. Like something like that. Alright. I need to kill the Bloodseekers still. Wait, can I do this? Did I get enough? I did use up all of my keys. Like, I had like 8 of them. I don't know if Blizzard like increased the chances of the chest spawning. Or if they lowered the chance of keys dropping, but like... Like, I'm pretty sure yesterday I had like... Well, around 8 of those keys and I couldn't find any chests. But like, today, I've just been finding them left and right. I mean... As you can see, like, I just got one key and I immediately got a chest. Which isn't a bad thing, just so we're clear. I guess that's good. Alright. Nice. That was a little sussy. You know, like, when there's a, sh when there's a lot of enemies on screen, they could technically just, like, one-shot me. That wouldn't be good. Wait, smoldering ashes? Wait, what? Oh yeah, I got them. Because it's more XP. By the way, they did change most of these powers. Like, you see this one? It makes the horse, like, recover faster from sprinting. Like, that might actually be useful. A little bit. I guess it's only useful like at the beginning, but I don't really want it right now because I just like think the XP is better, right? Hmm. Yeah, that's a little weird. Anyway, I could technically spawn these pedestals, but I'm not gonna do it right now. The reason is... I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a reason. I'm just not doing it. Okay, what's going on? I started getting like some 45, but I don't feel like I can even fill it up to max. Which kind of sucks. Alright. What am I supposed to do here? This? Wait, I only have 30 minutes? Hold up. I need to actually like focus a bit. I thought this was on for like 40 more minutes or something. By the way, th this always happens when I'm doing these blood harvests. Like every single time, these crimson blades, they just don't spawn anywhere. I don't know what they are, but I know where they are. And that's like not around me. Maybe everyone's just killing them. I'm just not seeing it. At least, thankfully, they show them as red dots on the screen. Oh look, there's a player. It's a sword player, for whatever reason. I wonder what the balance of the classes is like. Like, everyone said originally that 
Sorgs and Barbarians are gonna be trash. So I wonder how that theory is working out. I'm guessing it was right. Like, there is absolutely no reason why they would be good. Okay, I can actually open this. Didn't even know I had a key. But good. I just realized that while I'm playing Diablo 4, because the map is in like the top right like area of the screen, like I'm pretty much always looking at the camera. I know, you know. Well slightly below it. Because like I have it like right there. I didn't wanna like put the screen like directly in front of my face. Because I feel like that looks weird. Is that like a poison rogue? Alright. Blood well. Nice. Jar of souls. What the hell? Yeah, I only care about these crimson blades at this point. Like, as soon as they're down, I'm out of here. I wanna f do the season quest. I don't know what you get from it, but I've heard that apparently when you finish the entire season you get the metamorphosis thing. But yeah, I forgot to turn my DND on this card. Hold up. Let me check something. Alright. I feel like old tabbing while I'm playing hardcore is not a good idea, but like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I think it's worth the risk. Surely. Those two seconds of me not looking at the screen are not gonna prove fatal. Clueless. Wait, I just got four wands. Wait, this one's actually like decent. Not really. Okay, I see one more crimson, but okay, two more. I started to like this build. Like, it's pretty damn good. Like, when you get some legendaries, it actually turns out to be, like, pretty decent. Alright. I thought it was, it was a two-handed sword. One-handed are useless. I don't even pick up yellow items anymore unless they're a weapon. Like, I feel like it's pointless. Okay, that is good. I mean, you get so many legendaries this season, it's like, it's not even worth it to, like, upgrade it to a yellow item. Wait, what the hell? I mean, case in point, I guess. <laughs> like, that's pretty good. I think somebody just fought a bunch of enemies here. I need more time. Wait, that guy is a Bulwark Druid. I, s I saw that. He used like the Yarden Bulwark thing. But it didn't look like he got a shield. But I don't know what the hell is up with that. Like pretty much any time you fight those Bloodseekers, they drop legendaries. Oh my god, okay, that deals damage. <laughs> I need to go back. Surely. Yeah, I did get like the new block portal. Oh, let me close the window. I think it's like good enough now.
What is this? Legendary focus. I mean, I never use the cursor, so it's useless. This one's literally worse. <laughs> and like, what is this? Another cur. I mean, focus. Army of the Dead, your minions gain 100% attack speed and take reduced damage. I don't use Army of the Dead. But like, it's got pretty good damage. Could this be better? Oh, what the hell? 110 DPS better. Okay. Yeah, I'm using that. Like, if it wasn't, like, too much better, I would probably just throw it off. Like, this is good enough. Alright. Go back to the Whisper. It is done. Elms, Chaos, and Gauntlets. I don't actually know what I want. Did I already get like two levels today? I swear to god I did. No, I got actually three. I remember I started without any inspiring leader. Okay. <laughs> as soon as I switch out my weapon, I just get this. Yeah, I guess that's better. Wait, what's this? Sacrifice bonuses are increased. It's still better. Ossified essence, key passive. I don't use that. I think this is better just because of the sacrifice bonuses, but like, not even that much. I'm just gonna use a two handed sword. Yeah, it's just better. What is this? It looks like a. I thought for a second it was a violin. Like, if you look at the icon right there, it kind of looks like it. Because of the, like, little fucking socket thing. Alright. I don't need to go there anymore. I guess I'm just doing the quest now. Wait, what's this? I'll just go here. I got damn it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why these things are considered like consumables when they just go straight into your inventory. Like, what I don't understand even more is like, why do these pacts even exist? Like, you get so many of these that like you can just like change them anytime you want. Wait, what was that? Did somebody like? Like, wait, did this guy activate the Hunter's Acclaim for me? I didn't touch it. <laughs> it's, like, it made a sound as if I upgraded it. No, I didn't. Weird. I guess it doesn't matter. Anyway. I can I make a better potion now. I hope. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Can I at least make this? Okay. Oh yeah, this doesn't actually cost any herbs. It just costs like it costs like all of these different monster parts. Yeah, now I understand why I always had so many. All right, make a bunch of these. Oh no. <laughs> I need the right need now. the damn demon's heart. I don't think I have that. Can I even make it? No. God damn it. Like I don't even need the potion. It's just like it pisses me off when I see this little arrow. Just like seeing it there is annoying. I don't even care about the potion itself. I, it's just OCD. OCD is nuts. Alright. Yeah, my potion inventory is so empty. I know Blizzard nerfed the amount of potions that drop. But I guess I just didn't realize just how much. I guess I just won't be using potions then. I mean, I don't need to. It's only like a 5% increase. 
I guess it is multiplicative now. But doesn't really matter until you go to world tier four. I've removed the bitten flesh. All we can do is pray. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Yes. I saw it myself. I once guessed your curse might be used to our advantage, but the way you tore through those seekers. You're ready to face Zir. Wait, what? And I've decided Already? to open his gate. I'll ride for the city of the ancients at once. Um meet me there. Well I hope he isn't hard to kill. <laughs> Wait, look at this sword. Holy, what is this sword? It looks pretty good. It might show up in the loading screen. Never mind. I don't know why it sometimes shows your character. Alright, let's go there. Wait, isn't that the place that you go into during the campaign? Like the mine shaft? Maybe that's somewhere else. No, I'm pretty sure this is it. But yeah, that, that's that's the place. What the hell? We are actually going back there. Didn't think that would be possible. Anyway, Gamba time. Maybe I'll actually get an upgrade. Hmm. I mean, so far so good. I should be putting my points into this one, but... I don't care. Because like flowing wings is what I'm actually gonna use eventually. Here I'll take it. Emomancy, okay. All of these are awful. Okay. I mean most of the time I get one of the ones that I actually need. Which is pretty nice. Okay, Prey on the Weak takes priority over everything. I can take this. Well, that's it. Did I get a single upgrade? I don't think I got anything. By the way, I was looking at the hotfixes that happened. Like yesterday, I think. I mean, the game was like crashing left and right. I need time to do that. I say that, but it crashed only like once. Wait, what? Hold up. Wait, what the hell? Why did it not? Oh yeah, I the goblin is unstoppable or something. My God. Like, trying to kill this guy when you have, like, no movement speed whatsoever. I mean, it's not that bad. Bone Storm? Yeah. I wish this sword had a better legendary effect. Like, that one is literally useless for me. I wonder if Bone Spear is actually bad. Like, I haven't seen it in the tier list. Like... Anywhere near. <laughs> Anywhere near my current build. But I mean, it can be that bad, right? Like, it was the strongest Necro build for several seasons, to be I'm honest. You know what? Just in case. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna risk it. Man, Necros really are slow as hell. I thought Druid were also slow because they had like no movement abilities. At least I didn't have any. But like... I guess I had like movement speed bonus. Man, you can't even see the sword. Like, in this pose. Kind of trashy. I wish you could. Anyway, continuing on. I don't even know what the hell is happening in this quest line. Oh, good. It's you. You certainly move like a vampire. Do I? 
The offering of flesh has been made, thanks to the guards. I just need to breach the seals. Okay. Sure. <laughs> and how do I do that? We can assume Zia knows you've come. Yeah, I have come. Not today, though. This is madness. Perhaps that's what it takes. What do you mean? It's red. <laughs> Wait, was I not supposed to walk through it or something? What is she on about? Why is it red? Oh, I see. It's red. Foolish child. I gave you your power. power. You were mine the moment you crossed my threshold. What is this Eye of Sauron looking ass? <laughs> what the hell? Is he like talking to me through that or something? I wonder why corpse, I mean, why skeletons leave corpses behind. They don't look like someone who would leave a corpse. There's just like this weird floating eyeball. I mean, sure. <laughs> I don't judge. I, I do actually, a lot. Wait, is it like... Is it like shooting bloody waves at me? I'm the blood necromancer. I mean, I'm not. I don't even know what kind of necro I am. Like, it gets like weird necro. Yeah, I'm supposed to be using like infinimist, but like, what what does that even mean? <laughs> That's not even a spell. I mean, yeah, blood mist, but like, that can't be like the only ability that I use, right? I mean, I hope not. I mean, maybe. I mean, if it's doing, if it's gonna do damage, then like, I guess I don't care. I don't feel like it's gonna do much. I wonder how the build works against bosses. I don't think it has like great single target. What the hell? Evoke of the ancients? Hey, I'm fighting a druid, and he's doing exactly what druids do. Just like stand in one place and do nothing. That's pretty good. And a flurry rogue. My god. I'm fighting the two weakest things in the game. Well, the outcome is obvious. Should I use this? But yeah, I forgot. Legendaries have four apexes. Before, like, you hit tier 3 and tier 4. Maybe try using it. Using what? Like the blood mist thing? I can. I'm not ready yet. I have to be like high level before I can do it. I mean, I can use it right now, but like right now it's just a defensive thing. It doesn't do anything. I'm gonna I'm see what ready. it does like at max level. And this damn Eye of Sauron is getting a little annoying. Wait, this guy is alive? Where did you go? <laughs> is literally just following me and just being annoying. Is this is this what the final boss of this expansion is supposed to be? I call it an expansion, but it's not really that, is it? Like he's just a little floating eyeball that bothers you. Sanctum of night. How do they even know if it's night or not? I mean it's underground. Not like they have any windows here. It's a damn cave. Also, how the, how the hell did I even get here? Like, this is the same place that we went to during the campaign. You feed upon your own kind and call me monster. Yeah, monster energy drink. Wait, how, how many are there? You do not I'm fighting three bosses at the same face. time. Okay, one of them actually stunned me. Oh no. Wait, I'm fighting a necro? I feel like this is not fair. Wonder why Baldur's Gate 3 even bothers with classes when the classes in that game are as much of a class as a warrior is in El is, is a class in Elden Ring. Wait, what, what do you mean by that? 
I don't understand. I feel like the classes are like different enough. Wait, how is this guy invincible? Who was that, by the way? How did he teleport? What the hell? I didn't know Necros could teleport. Maybe that was like a dodge. Pretty much just determines your starting clothes, weapons, and stats. Maybe the spells you start with. Like, for example, seven different classes can have the talk to animal spell. Um. <laughs> what? I mean, so if everyone can use everyone's magic, why are they even divided? Because they can't? I mean, magic is a little weird in fucking D&D. Because, like... Okay, hold up. I'm gonna get, like, some person to talk to me now. Let me just finish this. But, like... The classes have, like, specific things that are, like, unique to them. I mean, what level are you right now? Because, like, I feel like a wizard and a sorcerer are just, like, vastly different in terms of, like, what they do. What the hell? This is the boss? I thought he was gonna be, like, a small guy. I didn't know he would be, like, a... This. <laughs> Whatever this even is. Wait, he's summoning dudes. Level 3. Yeah, I mean, at level 3, they're, like... Pretty much the same, to be honest. But like, as you level up, it's like, they're kind of different. I picked the Ranger class, but I probably respec into Clerical Warlock. I mean, the thing is, if you play a class that doesn't use magic, then like, your entire gameplay is essentially just use left click. <laughs> it's a like that's about it. <laughs> While like the left click gets like a ton of buffs, you know? But it's actually like really strong. I mean that's what I did as warlock. Okay, he's gonna get stunned, right? Oh my god! I almost died. <laughs> like basically the thing is, like Okay, I think I can Wait, is he not dead? Okay, there it is. <laughs> I'll explain to you how the classes work in D&D. &D. Like, the actual spells, you know, like, the actual magic. If the game tells you, like, hey, you can pick any spell, then you can usually pick, like, literally any spell. Unless it's, like, slightly divided, you know? But, like... Hey, what is this? Apparently left click does dog shit damage. Meanwhile, DP who is used who is warlock can teleport super fire and his magic spells and shadow hearts deal unbelievable damage. They can do tons of spells. I can only shoot an arrow, that's it. Does no damage. <laughs> I mean yep, I mean that's it. That's how it works. Melee classes. I say melee classes, but like, I mean, non-spell classes are just like completely useless at the early game. And then they like become the strongest thing in the game. Because like, the thing is, you have to realize that a melee class, I mean, I call it melee, but you know what I mean. A non-spell user, like you can use your main damaging ability, aka shoot the enemy. Like, always. You can, like, always shoot them. It doesn't matter. Like, you don't have any restrictions on it. Like, if you're a wizard, like, you can use some really powerful magic. But, like, once you use it, that's it. Like, you can't do anything. <laughs> like, you are literally just, like, standing there like, ah, I guess I'm just gonna, like, shoot cantrips, which are, like, completely useless. But, yeah, like, it's not balanced very well, I can tell you that much. I mean, it's just like classic D&D. &D. Like, they didn't, like, try to reinvent the wheel. They're just using the same rule set as 5th edition, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, like, they start out really strong when you're a magic user. But you just get better eventually as, like, a melee thing. 
I don't know with Shadow Heart I can keep using spells and they're really strong too. But I don't know, I have never looked at the ranger, so I don't know what she's like. Like she might be just completely useless, who knows. I know like some of the arrows you can shoot in the game are like really good. But I don't even know if ranger is based around arrows. She's a cleric. I'm a ranger. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> I mean, I haven't played a cleric either, so I don't know about that one. I thought I'd seen most everything. Like the only class I know about is just warlock. When to fight, when to run. A little bit of barbarian and paladin. I feared I'd pushed you too far. Created a monster to fight the monsters. Utter madness. It felt like the world was falling apart. I knew the cathedral wouldn't help, but who could? Then you tracked me down. Cursed and drowning in blood, you pulled me through to face the darkness. <laughs> Nothing makes sense anymore. Every law of nature tells me you should be a vampire, yet something inside you resists. It might even cure you in time. No! Why would I want to be cured of vampirism? It's something in your blood. I wonder what it could be. Anyway, what is this? As a ranger, I have pets. They have such dog shit up and they can't fight at the range. But you need to run to an enemy to do something and they just die. <laughs> Man, I never used pets in Baldur's Gate because like I had this slight suspicion that they would be completely dog shit. I didn't want to use pets mostly because like when I play a game like Baldur's Gate, you know, like a turn-based game, it's already like annoying to control the other characters in my party. Like I always want to just control my character and nothing else, you know? So like pets kind of ruined that, so I never bother. So you're telling me that they're also like extremely bad? <laughs> Man, I'm glad I never chose them. What do you do now? You've killed Zir, but his thralls are still out there. The strongest will try to claim his throne and the killings will continue. Oh yeah, I did so, kill Zir. <laughs> I kind of forgot immediately. Set off to hunt them down. I'll try to leave a few for you. Also, I looked at my spells and all they can really do is CC. Basically like a support class. I don't give a fuck about CC. It'll cause my turn and someone else will benefit from that. I don't want them to enjoy themselves. <laughs> But I hate when other people have fun. Pieces of shit. <laughs> Where do you think our skull no went? Idea, but the little devil can't have gone far. Seems only fair to give him a head start. <laughs> yeah, he was literally just a skull. I want myself to enjoy myself. I want to deal insane damage like magic users, and that is in fact the biggest support I can give my team. One shutting or two shutting enemies. You want to hear my opinion? You should play a rogue or thief or assassin. I don't know what it's actually called in the game, but like I feel like you would have like that class can do some insane damage. And it's really OP in Baldur's Gate. I don't know, I mean last time I played it, I don't know, they might have fixed it in patches, but like the way stealth works in the game is just overpowered as hell. Like, if you go, like, if an enemy isn't looking directly at you, you know, even during a fight, you can just press sneak and enemies will just, like, completely ignore you from that point. And then you can just, like, attack an enemy from stealth and you get, ad like, first of all, you get advantage on your attack. And second of all, if you're playing, like, the rogue thing, you get like many other advantages for it. Like some of your abilities are like specifically made to be yes, even stronger. I can sell. But like once again, rogue is literally just like it's basically just a melee class, except you're just like using stealth and doing insane damage. So like you still don't get that many options. So like a mage class would still be bare. I will respec into some magic class. I was looking into them, like, if you want the most amount of options, like, if you're actually bored and you don't know what to do, <laughs> just play a wizard. 
Like, play a, play a wizard and you will change your mind really fucking quick. <laughs> like, that's all I'm gonna say. Because you know what a wizard can do? It can literally use every spell in the game. And you can, like, you don't get them, like, instantly. But, like, anytime you find one of those magic scrolls, you can just... You can just pick... Like, you can just learn that spell permanently, right? So, like, you end up with having, like, I don't know how many spells. Like, basically, like, you can have literally every spell in a game. As long as you can, like, use it, you know? Because some of them have, like, restrictions on them. And then you basically just have to, like, pick and choose, like, which ones you like and which ones you don't. <laughs> My two companions besides DPR are Asterion and Shadowheart, so I used... Rogue and Cleric. Ah, oh, yeah, having two rogues would be weird. If you're using a Starian. Let me get one more. Oh, no. Now, I don't have any of these elixirs of death evasion. Like, I played Warlock because I feel like Warlock is like the best of both worlds. Like, you can do insane damage just by like using your normal attack while also getting the benefit of being able to use your spells and the best part about warlock is the fact that you will restore all of your spell slots after a short rest so you don't even need to do a long rest because like every other fucking magic user in the game like you have to do a long rest and it's annoying as hell doing that like Technically, like, the way you play a magic user, like, the correct way is to take a long rest after every fight. But, like, I didn't want to do that. Like, that's, like, the optimal way. But, like, obviously, you don't have to do it. But, like, if you start a fight that's hard and you don't have all of your spells, then you're kind of useless as a mage. Like a, like a wizard or whatever. Is the... The best thing is, when you're leveling up, like a wizard class, you know, like someone who has spells, and when you're leveling up someone who doesn't have spells, it's always just funny to, like, compare them. You know, like, when I was, like, leveling up my warlock, I was like, okay, now you get to choose from 10 different spells, and you get this bonus thing, and this thing, and that thing, and you have to click here and choose this and choose that, and then, when I was leveling up a fighter, it was literally just like, hey, you get one one a new spell. That's it. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Level done. That's it. You just get one new spell. And you can't even like choose between them. <laughs> like, that's it. But still, I mean it, it was a strong ass spell. Don't get me wrong. DP's been playing it for a long while and he's using Warlock, so I guess he also figured out that's the class that class is probably the most fun. The yeah, warlocks are great. I don't know if he's playing the melee warlock or if he's playing like the like a normal warlock, like a mage one. I mean, you probably don't know what he's choosing, right? Like if he went like packed of the blade or packed of the chain or whatever. Because like if you're a warlock, you can either like choose to be like a you know, like a melee guy. You can choose to be like a spell guy and you can choose to have a pet. Like if he has a pet, I'm guessing he doesn't because otherwise you would have mentioned it. Like if he has a pet, that would be like packed of the chained, I'm pretty sure. No pets. Yeah, so he's either using spells only or he's using like melee weapons. I mean The thing is, level like what what did you say? Level three? I think you said you were level three. Like, at level 3, even if you choose the melee warlock, you're not even melee. <laughs> like, at that point, you're just, like, using Eldritch Blast and just, like, shooting enemies. That's it. I'll be honest, even if your max level Eldritch Blast is such an overpowered spell that you can just spam forever, that, like, even if I, even when I was playing the melee warlock, I was still using Eldritch Blast, like, a lot. I'm just like trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do now. 
I guess I'll just do this. I mean, sure, Blood Harvest. That sounds fun. And he can teleport unbelievably far too. And use his Eldritch Blast. Yeah, I think... I'm guessing he's using like a spell called Misty Step. Which is pretty good. I never used it. Because, in my opinion, it's worthless. Like, why would you teleport if you can just shoot them? <laughs> like, like, do you need to like relocate? I feel like you don't. Especially if you got like a full party. Oh wait, what? I can get metamorph... Wait, did I unlock metamorphosis? Oh nice. Didn't realize. The good thing about Misty Step is like, it's one of the teleports that you can use as a bonus action. Which makes it really good for like, moving around. But still like, I don't feel like moving around is actually good in the game. Like, why would I spend my bonus action moving when I can spend it like, I don't know, using a health potion for example. <laughs> or like throwing it at someone. Oh wait, okay, I got it. I got an elixir. Let's go. Let me use that. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> Just a fucking wall of text. Uh, one other important thing for me Sigma is I want things to look and feel cool. Just shooting arrows forever or using a sword will not be fun. But when I use Shadow Heart and I enable the spell and I see fire in her hands and cool sound effects. You mean like when you use the weakest spell in the game? <laughs> Uh, because I'm guessing you're talking about fireball, right? Fire is a fireball that takes away half of enemy's health. Wait, or... Wait, what? A fireball? I mean a fireball or a fireball? Because those are two very different things. How is she taking away half of the enemy's HP? Wait, what difficulty are you even playing on? <laughs> that, that's my question. What, what difficulty are you actually playing? Like the middle one? Or like the, the balanced one? Yeah, okay, I can see that. I guess on balance it does like a lot of damage. Which means it doesn't really matter what you do then. So you can just chill, like whatever you want. Also like one thing... Guided Bolt OP. A Guided Bolt is great. That one's... That one, I think, is good. Like, just so we're clear, you don't have to play a single class. Like, you can multi-class. So, like... I mean, I don't know how good it is. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's, like, really fucking good, but, like... Anyway... One thing I want to mention, like if you're looking, I know that, that further takes away the purpose of classes altogether. I mean, uh, I guess in Baldur's Gate, it's kind of weird, like in Baldur's Gate 3, because like the max level you can get to is 12. Like, the thing is, like, if you multi-class, you can't get, like, some of the abilities that the classes get at high levels, you know? So, like, someone who's a dedicated cleric or a dedicated warlock can use abilities that warlocks get at high levels, while the other, like, if you, like, multi-spec, then you can't really do it. But obviously, like, you get other benefits. But it's not like it's completely pointless. I feel like the system is all right. I'm not ready yet. Like maybe you're thinking, okay, maybe because you're level three, you're thinking that people just get like the same exact spells on every class. But like, I don't think that's true. Like a lot of the spells, like there is a lot of spells in the game. 
And yeah, a lot of them are shared. But like, I definitely know about some of them that are not shared. And it like, if you can use that, it kind of defines your class, you know? But yeah, like, at level 3, you're basically all playing the same thing. I need more time. That's like being level 3 in... <laughs> that's like being level 3 in World of Warcraft. Like, you don't really do much. Like, I feel like the first major difference between classes becomes evident at level 5. Like, level 5 is when you actually, like, start to make some real choices, oh, I kind of. Time. I mean, level 3 you get to choose, like, your specialization. Most most people do that at level 3. Like, Paladin gets it at level 1. Bless you. But level 5 is, like, when you get some, like, weird stuff. Yes, I see. Guiding Ball is only on Cleric. It's locked. Is it? I thought other people could use it. <laughs> I mean, maybe it is, I don't know. Like, I don't know every single spell and thing like that. I don't really matter. I'm not ready yet. I mean, for example, like, I can talk about like the things that I saw. Like, for example, the spell Darkness. That I think a lot of classes can use the spell Darkness. Which basically just like creates like a cloud of darkness, you know, and people who are in it are blind, right? Like most people, like most classes can only use it as like a smoke screen, where like if you use it, you can't attack people out of it and enemies can't attack you in it. So it's kind of like a defensive thing, but not really, it's kind of like, it's meh. But when you're playing a warlock, and I know only warlocks can do this and nobody else. You can have like this special ability that makes it makes it possible for you to see in magical darkness. So basically, while you use the Samosk screen, you're literally invincible in it. <laughs> like you can shoot out of it and get advantage on all of your at attacks, and enemies can't shoot inside of it. Like, you know, like, when they're outside, they can't shoot in it, because they just, like, automatically miss. But basically, you can get, like, this 10-turn smokescreen that makes you insanely OP, and it only works on Warlock. And, I mean, that's one of the reasons why it works, because, like, if it worked on more than just Warlock, then it wouldn't work for anyone. Because, like, if everyone can see in Magical Darkness, then the spell becomes useless. But because only warlocks can see in it, when they get like a specific talent, that makes it so damn OP. So like that's like one of the things that's just like completely different with others. Like nobody else can use it other than a warlock. Unless you get like some other way of seeing in magical darkness. But like I don't think there is a single one. Like, even when somebody can see in darkness, they still can't see in magical darkness. I don't know why it's like a different thing, but yeah, it is. Like, there are some cool combinations you can do when you multi-class. Like, that wasn't one of them, obviously. That was just like pure warlock stuff. But like, there's some stuff. Like, for example... Like... If I had to like give you a suggestion, because like you said that you wanted to play like a magic class, right? Like as I said, if you want the class to be as complicated as possible, you just play a wizard, you know? Because like when you're a wizard, you I'm pretty sure you can cast like literally every spell in the game. Like I'm not ready without any restrictions. I, I bet he could probably cast like a fucking guiding boat too. Because wizards are just like, that's their thing. Like, they can do everything. But, if you want to play something that's like kind of magical, but also has like a bunch of cool stuff, and it isn't like a complete pushover, I would actually suggest Sorcerer. 
Like that one is like kind of cool. Like I think at like level three, you can unlock a thing that basically allows you to cast multiple times in a turn. And it costs like the specific resource. Like basically what it's called, it's called like meta magic. And like you get to choose what your meta magic abilities are and what you can use them for. But like you can do stuff like make the spell duration like twice as long. Or maybe you can make the spell like hit twice as far. You know, so like you could literally like shoot an enemy like 80 meters away. But like most people just use it to get the bonus action. I think it doesn't actually give you an action. What it actually does is like it makes it possible for you to use your bonus action as an action. So like imagine, you know, you get a spell called Fireball. Not Firebolt. I mean like actual Fireball like fucking blows up. And it's like, you know, like an AoE explosion. It deals insane fucking damage. Like, that spell is OP as hell. Like, imagine that, but you can use it twice. <laughs> like, in the same round. So, like, you basically delete anything in the game. <laughs> like, it's just like that. And, you know, it's like, just being able to cast two spells in one round is just, like, genuinely OP as hell. And, like... I don't think, I'm pretty sure most classes cannot do that. Like that's special about swords. I'm not ready yet. Like the thing is, like this is what I meant with, this is what I meant with the fact that mm, ca casters are like really good at the beginning, but I feel like non-casters become stronger later. And the reason is, because like, if you're a caster, you can always just use one ability a turn, you know? And it, it gets like really fucking limiting. Because like, you have a billion of these spells, but you can only use one, you know? So like, who cares that you have like a 20 million amount of spells when you can only cast one, right? Doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> but the thing is... Melee classes, they literally just get a bonus action. I think at level 5 and then at level 10. No, I think it's only at level... Wait, maybe it is at 5 and 10. So, like, you can literally attack multiple times in a round. So it basically doubles and then eventually triples your damage. Which is something that ma mage classes don't get. But, like, they get stronger in their own way. Another shitty thing is like if you're a melee class you have to run up to enemies so wasting time running there might not have enough movement get hit on the way then you have to stand next to the enemy like it just means like playing regular melee so it's not i mean true yeah like like playing a melee class while you're also playing like one of the short races is like like at that point you pretty much hate yourself <laughs> it's like because like if you're playing like a halfling for example you know like those like those fucking gnomes or whatever like they're like extremely small even their walking distance is shorter so like they can barely even like catch up to people i, I still remember like kiting around this enemy npc that was like a halfling or a gnome or one of those and I could literally just like run away and shoot him. And he could like never ever get to me, even though he was fucking sprinting the entire time. Like he literally sprints to me and he even even with that he can't catch up to me because I just like, I go back and I shoot. I go back and I shoot. It was like the funniest shit ever. Man, I don't know why anyone would play those melee. I'm a human, thank god. <laughs> at least, at least that's good. What's there's no echoes? I don't think I'm gonna use that. Maybe I should. Wait, why am I not using this? I'm assuming a corpse. Yeah, sure. Wait, what the hell? Why is it not working? Hmm. 
while unstoppable. Wait, am I not unstoppable while I use this? I guess that's immune. Like, that's also unstoppable. Wait, what? Maybe I'll use that for now. Yeah, sure, why not? Anyway. By the way, I don't know if DP told you this, but like... It is done. Depending on the amount of strength you have, like, it's almost always... You know what? Not even almost. I'm pretty sure it's always better for you to jump rather than just run. Like, if you don't use your bonus action for anything, you should always use it to just jump instead of, like, running. He probably told you this since he's, like, really good at the game. I mean, he played it for so long. Like, yeah, jumping always takes you further than running. No? The hell? Like, I mean, I don't know, like, the baseline, but, like, imagine, like, running takes you, like, three meters, right? And jumping, I think jumping consumes, like, 1.5 meters or, like, something like that of your, like, movement bar. But it, like, like, you could jump further than 1.5 meters, so it's like, it only takes up 1.5 meters of running, but you jump further, and it scales with your strength. Like, that's why, <laughs> like, like, if someone is playing a barbarian, and he just, like, pumps all of his points into strength, he has, like, 20 points in strength, like, that motherfucker can, like, like, he can jump as far as DP can teleport with misty step <laughs> it's like that's that's what i'm saying and he does it for nothing you know he, he literally just uses a bonus action which is usually useless <laughs> so it's like motherfucker just fucking jumps from one side of the screen to another that's usually how enemies catch up to me i mean when i played the game <laughs> i was just like on the other side of the screen and motherfuckers just fucking jump Giga chat. I don't know why it's so good. Maybe he doesn't want to do it because it's like immersion breaking or something. Because it like at a certain point it becomes ridiculous, you know? Like moving is always better with jumping. Like even if you save my life. Even if you only got like 10 strength or like 8 strength, it's still better to jump. Like, not by much. Like, at that point, it's not even worth doing because it's like, it's just annoying to do it. But still, it's always better. Basically, like, the entire game is just jumping. You know what? I could go into tier 3 when I think about it. I mean, I'm level 46. I should be able to do it. Yeah. Maybe I'll try that. Yeah, let me do that. I'm gonna finish this thing. This bloody harvest. Then I'm out. I feel like there's no people here. It is a corpse. But yeah, I'm supposed to destroy vampiric structures. I was like, why, why are there so many of them? Of course there are. Now it makes sense. Like, usually you just get a quest to rescue villagers. I guess this time I got something different. Alright. There's the last one. Wait, that's actually an enemy. Alright. Let me do the thing that's actually difficult now. When I say difficult, I mean... Probably difficult. I mean, I think it is. At least it's level 50 plus. 
Wait, there, wait, I could be the boss. Wait, it's in 46 minutes? Okay, I can get to tier 3 and then do a world boss. Surely that's a great idea. Of course, why wouldn't it be? Alright. Hopefully I can get through it. Let me try to upgrade my potion before I go there. Like, I might be able to upgrade it. Nope. I still have zero demon hearts. Somehow. Where did I elixir? Is there an elixir that I can just use? Iron barb? Yeah, sure. Blessings. 200 armor. That could be good. Alright, let's go. Level 50 dungeon. 